Today we're looking at team of the year, 95 Jude Bellingham, high, high, right footed, four star, four star, six foot one. And look at some of these positions. You can play left mid, CDM, and center mid. So you've got some good chem position. But look at these stats. What am I seeing? If his header and accuracy was 90, he would have some of the best defending in the game. His dribbling is absolutely outstanding. His shot power finishing. Even his short pass, long pass, really good. We've gone for a hand today, and I'll explain a little bit more at the end. So the traits got leadership and nothing else, unfortunately. The reason we've gone for a hunter, I'll explain on football. We'll talk about chem styles, pricing, what I thought about the card, best position, and much more. That being said, let's go jump into some gameplay. I'll have a word from today's sponsor first. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knight, select foot, select foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So we are playing in foot champs today, and we are playing in our 4 triple two system. We're going to have Jude Bellingham as our box-to-box -box midfielder. He's going to do the defending. He's going to do the attacking. He's just going to be doing anything and everything we can with him. And we're just going to see how good his link-up player is, his tackling, of course, his finishing if he's through, and really see if his card is all up to crack to be. I mean, that's a very good start, winning the ball nice and high there from our opponent. Find Jude here, he's going to take that touch. Wow, where's that speed boost come from? Oh, I nearly got through. Again, doing the defensive work. He feels absolutely lightning on the ball. That's one thing I will say straight off the bat. Do drive in. Little ball roll behind. Great shot across and a good save. But you can see how quick he is on the acceleration and getting the passes off. We'll have a look at his statistics. So he's got absolutely dreadful free kick accuracy for a 90 plus card. We'll take it anyway. We're going to call someone close and try and get the space on the edge of the box if we can. Find Jude here. Little touch in. Again, pulling away. Love a bit of skill. Looking for the space, not a problem. Back to Jude. Straight into Rashford. Little layoff, not quite. But you can see the sort of pocket of space we're going to be playing him in there. Again, great interception from Jude. Find Jude in the pocket. Just holding the ball up for a minute, not a problem. Using that skill. Again, lovely turn. Lovely left foot in. Nowhere to go. Cut back and good defensive move there. But you can see there just how he is to be able to create the space. Putting our opponent on pressure. And we're managed to get in behind every time. A goal is definitely coming if he carries on. So the defensive work rates, he's keeping our opponent pinned in, and that is something that's absolutely outstanding from him. Right, Jude, now pulling forward. Looking for a space. Can you use the Phantom Glide to make some space and drive? Got Sancho peeling. Can we find him with that through ball? Nearly thread the needle. Lovely dribble from Jude there. Opens up the space. Jude now driving. He's got the option. Lovely layoff to Lineker, who's decided to do a weird animation. But in terms of driving, he's actually really strong. No, so when anybody gets close to him, don't knock him off the ball. Anything like that, he's doing very, very well. So even man marking the space with that high interception is a good move there. So for the overlap, can't find him. Unfortunately, keep it on. We can just. Drew coming back into the play. Wants the ball. That's what I like to see from players. Lovely ball in between. Poor pass. He's obviously offside as well. Right, Drew driving again. Trying to man mark our passing, and that was not where I wanted it to go. Jude now defending, great tackle, bit skilled, lovely turn, now we can do again, this is something that's really good about this card, it's ability to do that right there, drive forward, nowhere to go, and it's a good tackle unfortunately, but you can see there he's still finding the pocket space, we're in a really sweaty game at the minute, we are quite high up in our elo in champs, and he's pulling out his weight at the minute, I just need to learn my finishing a bit better and we might have a few more goals to show you, but in terms of midfield work rates, absolutely outstanding. Of interception, right? Let's go counter attack. Drew picks it up. God, oh, gets a bit fouled there, but not given. But he intercepts the pass instantly. But then I'll do a bad dribble and give it away. No problem. Still in the way there. Recover speed. Good. Lovely roll pass. Now we've got the counter attack. We can use that pace of his. Little link up. Back down to Jude. Driving forward. Nowhere to go. Cut it back. Get shot off. And a great save again. So unlucky. But you can see the acceleration he gets off the dribble. That is something that's really nice. For the space, just opening it up for a minute. Our opponent is sitting very, very deep. You see here, he's got 10 players back and one striker just sitting forward waiting for that through ball over the top. Little link up though. Do find a space. We can't quite get the shot off. How have we not had an assist? I don't know. But one more attack, I think. Can we play it? That's a terrible... Oh, actually, end ended up being an okay pass. It is half time. We've been a really tough game. We'll show you the half time statistics. Jude has definitely been the star man at the minute. We should have had a couple of goals. You can see here, our opponents have one shot. We've only had four. It's quite split in every situation. We are very high up in our rankings in terms of where we finish. But so far, so good from Jude. Into the second half then. The goal's got to be coming. We've been penetrating every single time with Jude. We've been winning that loose ball. We've been able to open up the space. We've just been so unlucky with our striker's ability to finish. Not anything to do with Jude. See here, like driving into this situation... 
with those big strides and his ability to turn. That's something that's really good. And we do find ourselves through. And again, an absolute wonder save from the goalkeeper. How have we not scored? Dude, with a through ball, what a pass in the transition. And unfortunately, Pyatt can't run there. We do manage to pick up the loose ball. But Drew driving through, looking for the space. Love, again, great passing. Going to hold it out for a minute. Try and drive him forwards ever so slightly. Little dummy run from Jude. Managed to find the space. Jude, and he has to be the one that gets the goal. And I knew it was coming. That is much better from him. What an absolute strike. We've now got the space, the goal we needed. He started that off, and now we've got ourselves in the lead. And I'll tell you what, goals are coming. We've been so unlucky not to get there before. Jude putting that pressure on again, straight away from the kickoff. Uh, Drew picks it up. Lovely touch in. Again, left foot straight into transition. Now we can drive with him. Again, one, two. Oh, I nearly got the shot. But Drew intercepts. Defensive work. And we've been blocked on our shot. And it's gone out for a goal kick as well. So, so unlucky. Uh, Drew picks it up. Going to play it out wide straight away. Going to play it back to him. We can find him on that little step. Drew takes it in. Lovely control. Now back to Drew. Look at this football. Now he's on his own. Going to go for the power shot. Great save from the goalkeeper. Wanted to try out the pass shot. We haven't had a chance to do it with him yet, but we could have got an easy goal there, possibly if the keeper didn't make a wonder save, shooting across. But you can see just his link-up play, his defensive work. This card reminds me of Jorginho last year, how he does the work that he does. Uh, no got options. Again, he can play that pass every time. Our opponent's starting to lose his head with Jude a little bit. Can't find a bat, though, unfortunately. He is so good at passing. He picks it up. Left foot straight in. That left foot is so good, even though he's right-footed. Oh, Charlie, he's not the quickest at doing skill moves, though, I have to say, in terms of ball roll and stuff. Still very good at left stick dribbling, but the left foot with the, uh, sorry, the skill moves is not the greatest at times. That's the only thing I will say is a little bit lacking with Jude, if I were to be extremely picky. Like, the Phantom Guide is great at a little RB turn he's very good at. Ball roll is a little bit slow to the animation. Oh, we've got the space to drive through here. Going all the way, Jude, and there is the second goal, and he's a machine running in from deep. I generally think we've seen enough gameplay, so let's go jump onto Footbin now. So we're on footbin. You can see it's about 3 million coins at the moment. And I honestly thought he was going to be way more expensive than that. 4 star, 4 star. And compared to his gold card, he's had plus 13s on almost everything. We went for a hunter today. And that was basically to maximize his shooting, his away to move forward, as we could see. And just what he kind of offers in the terms of a box-to-box -box attacking role. And this card was unbelievable. His passing, his dribbling, his link-up play, his ability to finish. You saw there we got two goals. Two really important goals. We should have had a lot more assists, but our opponent, or our, our, my own striking as well. Our opponent's goalkeeper was unbelievable, and our finishing wasn't the best. I imagine people, some people would probably put an engine on him to maybe boost up that, or even a shadow to boost up his defensive work. Honestly, it depends what you want him to do. He can do the defensive work already with a hunter. If you put a shadow on, you're going to maximize it. I don't think that will knock down his finishing. His finishing is still going to be absolutely outrageous. I am kind of leaning towards going for a basic, to be honest, and just kind of letting EA do the work for you in terms of the chem style. But yeah, shadow, anchor, or basic are the three. He can play CDM. He can play cam. He can play right mid, left mid. He can play box to box center mid. He could even play as a secondary striker, I would say, with his finishing ability. He is that good. I don't think there's much else to cover on this card. We've kind of covered everything that we needed to. And if you have any more questions, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, just hit that like button and subscribe. And I do a lot of team of the year reviews, icon reviews, pack openers, how to grind, and much more. So smash that like button and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. See ya.